Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So, um, I did mention in my other video, which was my quick little mukbang, that I am sick. Um, I have not been wanting to upload a like makeup tutorial because I do sound sick. Um, and I'd rather just wait until I feel a little bit better and I sound better to be able to give you guys a really really good tutorial um but for today's video i did want to go ahead and show you guys my filming setup not so much like a makeup room because i don't have like a full-on makeup room more of, a, of my um filming slash makeup collection um so that's what i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys today which is where i sit where i do my makeup and where i film i film and i do my makeup in the same area just to make it easier for me um and sometimes i do edit my videos for the most part i do edit my videos here as well um i do not have a big area so whatever has worked for me is what i've done which is what i'm going to show you guys um like I said, it's a really small area, but it's what's worked for me, and it's how I've been editing my videos and how I've been filming my videos. So you guys are going to see what's behind me <clears throat> and what's like under me and what's around me. Again, I do share this room with my mom. She does have her scrapbooking stuff on this side, so I will not be showing that part of the room. Um, literally only my area, which is like a small little area. I probably look a little bit like the camera is probably like at a weird angle, but I'm filming on my tripod. <clears throat> like my hand tripod but yeah if you guys want to see what my filming slash makeup collection area looks like then just feel free and keep on watching if you guys have not already make sure to subscribe to my channel um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up at the end of the video if you guys did enjoy and that's pretty much all i have to say and let's get right on into the video so this is what i see right when i walk in so the first thing is um i have my two um, limo studio lights i did get these on amazon my mom actually got them for me for christmas i will go ahead and try to find them and i'll link them down below um they're not the best but honestly it's what's worked for me and as you guys can see even though it's dark out it still gives me a lot a lot of lighting um so honestly it's perfect for me so like i said the first thing is that and then on my table i do have that light this one i used to use but as you guys can see, that one is really, really high um, compared to this little one. So when I would have this in front of me, when I would film with my camera, that one was in the way. So I had to get rid of it, but I did like it because it did have a mirror so you can turn it on and off. Um, I believe my mom got that one for me at Costco or Target. I am not too sure. This one I just picked up at Ross or Target. I'm not sure. I think it was Ross maybe. Did it have, still have? Yes, it was at Ross and the price is right there. So it was... 9.99 so it's a really really good pickup um and i put it just right there when i'm filming <clears throat> because as you guys can see it's lower so the camera doesn't pick it up and then the next thing is my monitor right here um i did get that one on amazon i'm not sure what the oh i'll go ahead and move that it is hp as you guys can see right there um my fiance did actually buy this for me <clears throat> most of the stuff honestly was um, given to me for either Christmas or just, um, you know, given to me. So I'm really thankful that I had the people that gifted me these items. But again, the monitor is um, so I can see myself in a bigger screen and a bigger frame um, than my little camera. I do have the Sony A5100. Um, and if you guys have that camera, if you guys are familiar, you guys know that um, it has like the little screen that you can flip up. Um, however, sometimes it is a bit small for me to see. So um, the reason behind me getting the monitor is for me to see myself like a lot closer um, to make sure I'm zoomed in and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so moving on to my little table right here so right here in the corner i just have um my jeffree star mini liquid lipsticks um and i have a highlighter palette and then an eyeshadow palette and i just have this here because um right now when i show you guys my other palettes i have no more room for them honestly um so i just left them right there these are my brushes honestly this kind of like changes all the time and it moves i either have it on this side or i have it on this side honestly it just depends of how i'm feeling that day i end up just moving them um but i do have my b bella brushes um i have my b bella like some sigma brushes in here my luxie brushes my equal tools beach cosmetics avamar so these are these brushes on this side i have like my morphe ones um, right here is just like my main face brushes that I use and then this one is face brushes as well but I don't really use them often. Yes, I know they're dirty. I need to do another cleaning. Um, and then back here I have my tripod. This is the sun pack. I think I did a video on this one um, with my YouTube equipment. Um, so I believe that's a 6000 one. Um, <clears throat> but that's how I have um, my camera facing me 
when I am sitting down. Um, and then moving on this table, honestly guys, it's a funny story because I actually got this table at a, not even a yard sale, but I had went to my fiance's friend's house one night and his next door neighbor was, had it out, you know, like when people leave stuff outside that they're just like trying to get rid of, this was actually there. Um, and I actually had like a drawer right here, but I took that out because I was like, I don't need that. And then it has this little sliding thing, but I don't ever use that. <clears throat> um, but honestly, it's like the perfect size, as you guys can see. And it was, um, it was white color before. It was just a little bit dirtier, so my fiance just sanded down and spray painted it um, white. And then right here, as you guys can see, I do have a towel. So what I do is I kind of just put my mirror right about there. I don't have this there, but I just have my towel right there, so I don't um, mess up the whites. Even though it's kind of dirty, I don't know if you guys noticed, but even though it's kind of dirty, I keep the towel there just to, you know not get it any more dirty um okay now moving on before that was pretty much like the kind of setup that i have now going on kind of more to my makeup collection um i did get this at target i believe so it does um have three drawers so they are pretty deep and it's a pretty good size um what i did then when i had these was i picked these up from target too i believe so they're just little containers um that they fit right on into the drawers i believe you can get these containers maybe like at the container store i've heard a lot a lot of makeup people get them at the container store um but this is what i used to use when i was kind of just starting out which was these containers again i'm not sure how much they were but i'll try to find them and i'll try to link them for you down in the description bar um but that was what i used to use um for my makeup <clears throat> and i did get more off obviously throughout um time so that's why i had to kind of upgrade to something bigger um and then this chair my mom did get for me at ross i'm not sure how much it was to be quite honest um but it's just like a plastic chair so it's perfect um for when i'm filming because you can't really see the chair i just have a little trash can <clears throat> down there to just throw it <coughs> oh excuse me to just throw my trash away okay and now moving on to my actual makeup collection as you guys can see right here i have all my palettes so like i said i did put these right there because it's all filled up. So I have literally all my palettes. So my Morphe palettes. These are all Morphe. My Z palette. Some Kat Von D. Too Faced. Anastasia. Laura Lee. Um, another Morphe one. Colourpop. Um, the Juevas Place. Another Too Faced one. <clears throat> and then I have my vault collection back here. And I believe that is it. So on the top here I just have all my palettes. Easy for me to grab. So once you open up this first door I have all my foundations all my primers and all my concealers and my two beauty blenders well two beauty blenders so in this drawer that's what it consists of it's not organized in any way shape or form i know it's messy <clears throat> but i haven't got containers that kind of fit these drawers um so if you guys have any recommendations of good drawers that you might think fit in here please leave me them down below so yeah this is what this drawer is my foundations primers concealers and i think that's it moving on to my next one it's all my powders pressed powders loose powders so i have my loose powders my bronzers my blushes my highlighter palettes not palettes my highlighters um face powders and that's pretty much it i think for this drawer so that's what i have here <clears throat> oh sorry by the way i did get this container at to michael's and guys it was only 30 bucks so yeah this one i did pick up at michael's and it was only 30 bucks so i had to pick it up i was like i have to like it's a great deal so then moving on <clears throat> and this one is a little bit more organized i do have the containers in this one um here i have like some ColourPop pressed pigments some l'oreal um pressed pigments as well my loose glitters my eyeliners mascaras and i believe that's it that i have in here oh like my colored liners this one goes over here and then right here i have some more loose glitters some more loose powders and then right here i have like my glitter <clears throat> kind of applicators and then a few of these single shadows so that is what this drawer consists of these two i think i did get on my target as well this plastic one here i'm not sure where i picked this one up to be honest um but yeah this is my glitter and eyeliner and mascara drawer <clears throat> i was gonna separate these but i don't have much of like my mascaras and my eyeliners so i was like i don't want to just use a drawer just for this i was like might as well just put them together that's what i need with this one okay and then moving on probably my favorite this is my lipstick drawer this is all my nude lipsticks or like my pinky colors i have my lip liners in here again so that's what that looks like <clears throat> so again these are all my liquid lipsticks my nude lip liquid lipsticks so i have mac i have anastasia i have dose of colors lime crime kat von d nyx 
Too Faced, I believe, Tarte, Frankie Rose, Gerard Cosmetics, Gam Kim Kardashian Beauty, Kim Kardashian KKW Beauty. Um, and yeah, this is this drawer right here. <clears throat> and then moving on to the next one, it's another lipstick drawer, but these are like my darker colors, like my reds and my browns. Again, I didn't separate them because I don't have much of each, so I was like, might as well just put them together. I'm not going to take up drawers just to separate them, but again, I have Smashbox, um, NYX, Too Faced, Dose of Colors, um, MAC, and Gerard Cosmetics. So this is this drawer. Like I said, I don't have much makeup, but this next one, actually, I just need to throw these out because they're, like, literally empty. But this one, as you guys can see, I have my mascaras. I'm sorry, my eyelashes. I'm in, in this little jar thing. I'm not even sure where I got this from, but I just have my eyelash glue, my tweezers, my scissors, and my sharpener. But this is where I keep my lashes when I do have a lot of lashes. And honestly, in these, I just don't really have much. I have four of them that are empty. Like I said, I don't have much makeup, but this compared to that i did have to upgrade it because that was just not enough and i had kind of all my makeup crammed in there so this was a really really great investment so that was pretty much it uh, like i said it is not much it's my little area that i used to film it's what it's what has worked for me in the past and now honestly um <clears throat> i don't have to go out and spend you myself and um, yourself as well you guys don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars when you guys are first starting out YouTube and spending your money on these all these expensive items honestly when I had first started I was filming on an iPod touch on my phone um, <clears throat> I was using natural lighting you guys do not have to go out and you know spend money on all of these this equipment um, this I have got over time and was gifted to me um, but now over time me doing YouTube I want to say for two years um, I am going to start investing. You guys are going to be seeing better, better quality on my videos because I do want to invest in a better camera and better lighting and, uh, you know, a better mic and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that, that was pretty much it. So this is my filming area and this is what I used to film and my little, a little glimpse at my makeup collection. It's not much, but like I said, it's perfect for me and it's what's worked for me um, for my videos. And that was pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of future videos that you guys want me to film, please leave them down um, below. <clears throat> I would really love to see your guys' suggestions. That's pretty much all. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button before you guys head out today. It would mean a lot to me. Again, don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you guys are notified every single time I upload a new video. And that is all I have to say, and I will see you guys on the next one.